So being a parent is the most rewarding, but also the most demanding job in the world. And after a long, uh, after a long day, uh, dinner should be a time for families to relax, talk, and enjoy each other's company. Unfortunately, for most parents, dinner time can be a nightmare. <laughs> containing three to four bunt style bowls with a uh, cavity in the center. Uh, these bowls will be stacked on top of each other in the package and in the hall of center we will have uh, sauce and seasoning packets that go with the theme of the dinner. So each dinner will have a theme such as taste of New Orleans or taste of India and to give you an example um, a taste of India dinner would have chicken in one bowl rice in another, and mixed vegetables in the third bowl. The seasonings and sauces would include a butter curry sauce, a vindaloo tikka masala sauce, and a uh, pav bhaji sauce, <laughs> um, and these sauces could be used interchangeably between the chicken, rice, and vegetables, allowing the meal to be fully customized and catered to individual tastes within the family, even those picky eaters. And the, uh, the bowls would all be uh, covered with an airtight lid so that they could double as storage for any leftovers that may uh, be left at the end of the meal, which would really just maximize the convenience and freshness uh, to meet your family's needs. And just to put our product in perspective in comparison to our competitors, um, Full Circle is both high quality, fresh, and uh, high convenience. And we offer family-sized portions as opposed to individual servings. 
Now on to our social media aspect. Um, one thing that we want to do prior to product launch as well as throughout the lifetime of our product is have a strong social media presence. Um, contrary to popular belief, social media isn't just for kids. Um, moms themselves have a very strong presence in all forms of social media. We've all had that moment when we go onto Facebook, we see like a new friend request, like, oh yeah, a new friend. And then we go up and we see, that's actually your mom. And then <laughs> we have to go through the moral ethical debate, like, do I add her? Like, I love my mom. I, want, I don't want her to think that I don't, but at the same time, this is my face. Facebook, like I don't want her like commenting on my stuff. It's it's a very hard thing to juggle, but at the same time we're all we've all gone through it just because there are so many moms that are present on social media. So that's why one thing that we want to do is utilize our Facebook page um, to get access to those moms. We want to use our Facebook page to allow moms to come on, share their stories, share their experience, be able to connect and talk with other moms because that's really the overall goal of Facebook is to talk and connect with people. So we really want them to be able to do that on our own page. At the same time, we want to talk and connect with these moms. We we don't want to just be like a faceless Facebook page. Like we want to like comment on them. Like if like someone has like recipe suggestions or like just generally like just loves our products and wants us to know, we want to say like thanks for the idea, Carol. Like maybe we'll put that into a product. We're like thanks for buying with this, Julia. Like we really appreciate your insight. So we really just want to be able to connect with them and make sure they know that we really care about them. Um, likewise, we also want to. Um, utilize um, Pinterest so we want to like access that as like a lifestyle source for moms moms love Pinterest because it allows them to be able to like search all the different aspects of their lifestyle um, being working mom is a lifestyle so likewise we want full circle to be a part of that lifestyle so our Pinterest we don't want to just focus on um, like our product or on food we also want to like feature other stuff on our boards um, things like how to balance like being a working mom and a, a being a mom um, also like crafts with their kids so they can have that one-on-one -on -one time, as well as just different organizational tips, as well as obviously like recipes and products. Um, we also want to utilize Twitter. Um, we really want to connect with those moms that are on Twitter who are tweeting about stuff. Again, allow them to be able to share their experiences um, in 140 characters or less. <laughs> Continuing the awareness and engagement that social media will bring to our product, we also have a media plan. 53% of moms actually buy a smartphone once becoming a mom, so they're looking to their phones to become more organized and to ultimately become a better parent. And 70% of these moms would actually choose TV, or choose their phones and eliminate their TV. So going with this mobile uh, theme, we decided to start up with an app. This app would allow moms to put in everything they have in their pantry and in their <coughs> fridge, and it would come up with recipe ideas so that they don't have to make a trip to the grocery store. Ultimately, uh, this would allow uh, our, us to be branded as a company that is helpful for dinner, helpful for working moms, and easy to use. Um, continuing with mobile, we would do a lot of uh, mobile advertising as well as online advertising. A lot of moms are doing a lot of shopping on their phones, and if not shopping, they're researching products, so we thought Amazon. And uh, as you can see, that's our little ad in the corner, so we would do mobile and online there. As well as WebMD, it's one of the top five websites that moms actually go to with their kids getting hurt or sick, so there's our ad at the top, and we would also put it on mobile as well. Um, and we would also do uh, an idea of doing mini YouTube documentaries featuring a mom and how she handles her working lifestyle, her kids, and cooking dinner. This would allow other moms to um, relate to this story, have moms share their story, and engage with other people on YouTube and as well as our Facebook. It would be featured across our social media. Um, also, Google search marketing. So when moms you know, are typing in easy dinner recipes, um, working mom tips, what to do with my kids, uh, our uh, website will pop up at the top and it'll bring more awareness to our product. Um, lastly, as a consumer promotion, we would do um, mom blogs. So we would reach out to them and um, give them our product to try out and blog about. And so um, they can try it, they can put some reviews on there, uh, other moms will read it and maybe go out and try it and engage with us some more. And uh, we also have some creative content that Tony will be talking about. So for our creative media, we chose to deliver branded content across three different television platforms, a sitcom, a talk show, and a cooking competition. So we'd like to have Full Circle written into an episode of Modern Family, where Phil and Claire will buy the product after a busy day for their family dinner. Uh, Modern Family not only features the family dynamic that we're looking to target with our product, but is also the number one uh, watch show by adults on Wednesday nights. Um, so there's a large audience for that. And we'd also like to have Full Circle featured on The Chew, which is the currently the number two daytime talk show and is growing in popularity, especially among women aged 25 
to 54. Um, so we would like to have the hosts just uh, review and discuss uh, one of our full circle meals. Finally, we would have Full Circle incorporated into an episode of Chopped where the contestants would be given one of our dinners and they would be tasked with making that into their own version of the meal uh, in a very short amount of time. Um, so we would see what they come up with, maybe something even better than what we have. But, um, and during each of these shows, we would have uh, 30 second cuts of our YouTube uh, mommy docs during the commercial breaks. Um, not a traditional ad, but just kind of a 30 second cut of the documentary to really help drive home um, the message we're trying to get across with our product. And this TV campaign um, will be a huge boost in awareness at the time of our product launch. Uh, we have the potential to reach over 10 million viewers across those three television shows. Um, so that'll be a real <coughs> big push for us as we launch the product. And just to go over it with our media calendar, we would start off with social media, our app, and the videos at the bottom the first two months before our launch in September, which is where all of our concentrated uh, media plans are. Um, September is also a really busy month for moms. Kids are starting school, so we decided, you know, they'd probably be looking for a lot of tips and easy dinners at that time. And then we're going to continue our mobile and Google search advertising, as well as our documentaries and our social media um, throughout the rest of the year. And this, um, we really wanted to push awareness and engagement for our product. So through awareness, we would uh, just want a lot of eyes on our name, on our product, on our logo, our logo. So we would measure like app downloads, reach, likes, impressions, just how many people are seeing it, um, the TV commercials, the TV shows, et cetera. And then um, engagement, um, we would measure people talking about this, <laughs> organic Google searches, and how moms are sharing our content that we're posting, our product, um, how they're talking about it, and how many clicks um, they, how many people are clicking on the links that we're posting, and so that shows that we have good content we're producing um, when posting as well. And now on to our marketing plan. Um, when we launch our product, we plan on working with and distributing through um, eight major um, retailers. Um, so the reason we chose um, these uh, select A is because they have a strong reputation, um, either nationally or in their um, select region, of being like sources for like locally grown, healthy, organic food. And so we really want people to be looking for our products um, in those locations. Um, so in partnerships with those retailers, we would also um, have a number of different trade promotions. So one thing we want to do is utilize end caps. So have like specific areas like where people know like in the store that they can go and get our product and not get it confused with any of the other products. Likewise, we want to have coupons and advertisements in like the weekly and monthly like circulars for the different retailers. And we, likewise, we also want to have um, sampling options in stores for people to be able to try our product before actually um, purchasing it and taking it home. Um, as far as our rollout, um, we want to start out in eight major me metropolitan areas um, in year one. By year two, we want to um, expand that to seven more. And by year three, we want to add five more um, to a total of 20 um, major metropolitan areas. Um, these select um, areas that we chose um, are based not just on um, general total population, we actually based it um, off family population. So like, we don't care like how many people are actually in the city, but how many families are, because we are like trying to get this meal for families. So we really chose um, these regions specifically because they do have large families in them. Likewise, they're also, these regions also are close to um, a lot of lo local organic farms. So that would make it a lot um, easier for uh, supply and transfer and distribution and whatnot. Um, and then onto our financials. Um, we are looking, um, these numbers are based off the transferability of two to seven percent throughout the um, first three years. While we will have a slight um, negative profit in year one, we plan on breaking even year two and exceeding profits in year three. So dinner can be stressful, and obviously it can be a nightmare. But with Full Circle, it can be easy and maybe even fun. So we hope you make the right choice to come home, come together, and come Full Circle. Thank you. The storytelling, the full circle, and tying it into the branded content deals is very clever because it, it's high, high rec highly recognized. And I thought that that was uh, it was well executed. I had a hard time understanding the packaging, like a bunt cake <laughs> thing. There's like three of them, and how does it? I didn't. Could you explain that? Yeah, I was, I was, it is kind of hard to explain because it's very different. So there would be like three bowls stacked on top of each other um, with like a bun cake, kind of like that hole. center, like a hole, but there's still like, you know, like a lining there. Uh, 
It's just like a bun cake where there's just yeah, a hole, it's just and like you can a, drop things in the middle. So it makes it easier for packaging, and then they stack, so it's just... And each, each bun cake would have a different ingredient, so it had the chicken on the bottom, then the rice, and then the veggies. So you, the, the food isn't mixed together yet. That's the creative part. You get to mix it together, you get to choose your sauces. It allows moms to feel creative, but kind of giving them a cop out, it's kind of easier that way. It's already all packaged together. So, but if you become, if you start using this over and over and over again, you could have 50, 60 bun cake um, molds in your house. Well, they're pl they're plastic. I mean, they're you like they're, they're, it, but it's like and it doubles as a Tupperware as well with the with the airtight. Okay. Top. Is it pre-cooked? Yeah. Yes. I, I think you guys did a great job. Um, as a working mother, it's all true. <laughs> so at the beginning, you could have been at my house. <laughs> but um, I thought it was great. And I think that uh, you guys, again, if uh, you get all the pieces in terms of the working mother, I do, I do wonder, um, in terms of the social media, if on your commercials, are you going to have any sort of call to action to put social media? I think like like most commercial that you have out there, you have like the like little icons and stuff, as well as like hashtags and stuff that will draw people into using social media while they're actually watching the commercials themselves. So sort of like live tweeting, live Facebook posting while they're actually seeing the spots on TV. That's great. You, you've done a really nice job of positioning this for the family, but how big is that market relative to the total market for um, this type of product? By year three, we're looking at somewhere around six million units sold, and that's just like based in solely those metropolitan areas. As time goes on, we might look to expand, expanding nationally, but we really are sort of not necessarily constrained, but we really just want to keep in mind like making sure that our products are locally sourced. Um, so like, we can only expand so much based on that. So we're trying to meet the maximum based on that. But the, the market is large. There's 34 million family households in the United States. So even tapping into just those that portion that we are with the metropolitan areas is still a pretty sizable market. 